Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In here, I want to tell about you about life insurance, life insurance or life assurance, especially in the common health of nation, is contract between an insurance policy holder and an insurer or assured, where the insurer promises to pay a destined beneficiary a sum of money upon death of an insured person or often the policy holder depending on the contract other events such as terminal illness or critical illness can also trigger payment the policy holder typically pays a premium either regularly or as one lump sum the benefits may include other expenses such as funeral expenses life policies are legal contract and the term of the each contract describe the limitation of the insured event often specific exclusion written into the contract limit the liability of insured common example include claim relating to suicide fraud war riot and civil commotion difficulties may arise where an event is not clearly defined. For example, the insurer knowingly incurred a risk by consenting to an experimental medical procedure or by taking medication resulting to injury or death. Modern life insurance bears some similarity to the asset management industry, and the life insurers have diversified their product offerings into retirement products such as annuities. Life-based contracts tend to fall into two major categories. The one is protection policies. It's designed to provide a benefit, typically a lump sum payment. In the event of a specific occurrence, a common form of a protection policy design is term insurance. And the second is investment policies the main objective of these policies is to facilitate the growth of capital by regular on single premiums common form in the united states are world life universal life and variable life plus <coughs> an early form of the insurance debt to ancient room burial club cover the cost of member funeral expense and assist by survivor financially in in 1960 an archaeological evacuation in minya 8 under the help of the ottoman empire produced a nerva antonin dynasty era tablet from the ruin of the temple of antonius in antonino polis I give people that precept the rule and membership dues of a burial society collegium established in Lanfium, Italia in approximately 133 AD during the reign of Hardian 117 until 138 of the Roman Empire. In 1851, future US Supreme Court Associate Justice Giuseppe Bradley, once employed as an actuary for the Mutual Benefit Life Insurance Company, submit an article to the Journal of the Institute of Actuaries Detailing and Historical Account of a Severan Dynasty Era Life Table, compiled by the Roman Jurist Lupian in approximately 220 AD during the reign of Elagabalus 218-222 that was included in the Digesta Serpandicate 530 codification ordered by Justinian I of the Eastern Roman Empire the earliest known life insurance policy was made in Royal Exchange, London and 18 June 1583, Richard Martin insured of William Gibbons, paying 13 merchant 30 pounds for 
four hundred. If the insurance dies within one year, the first company to offer life insurance in modern times was the Amicable Society for a Perpetual Assurance Office, founded in London in 1706 by William Talbot and Sir Thomas Allen. Its member made an annual payment per share on one, two, three shares with consideration to each the member being 12 to 55. At the end of the year, a portion of amicable contribution was divided among the wife and children of decreased member in proportion to the number of shares the heirs own. The amicable society start with 2,000 members. The first life table was written by Edmund Halley in 1693, but it was only in the 1750s that necessary mathematical and statistical tools were in place for the development of modern life insurance. James Dodson, a mathematician and actuary, tried to establish a new company aimed at correctly offsetting the risk of long-term life insurance policies. After being refused admission to the Amicable Life Assurance Society because of his advanced age, he was unsuccessful in his attempt at producing a cargo from the government. His disciple, Edwards, Edward Ruth Morris, was able to establish the Society for Equitable Assurance on Leaves and Survivorship in 1762. It was the world first mutual insurance and it pioneered a base premium based on the mortality rate, laying the framework for scientific insurance practice and development. And the basic of modern life is assurance upon which a life assurance seems by subsequently based or also give the name actuary to the chief official the earliest known reference to a position of a business concern. The first modern actuary was William Morgan who served from 1775 to 1830. In 1776 the society carried out the first actual valuation and the abilities of such subsequently distributed the first reversionary bonus and the interim bonus among its members. It also regular valuation of balance completing interest. The society sought to treat its member equitably and director tried to ensure that policyholders receive a fair return on the, their investment. Premium were regulated to it and anybody could be a might have regaled of their state of health and other circumstances. That's all. Thank you. Don't forget, don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel.